Welcome, I'm Nakaji no Kami here at Running of the Leaves 2016. I'm here with a great musician, Siro the Wolf. Welcome, are you enjoying yourself? Very much so, thank you. So are you just a musician for stuff surrounding My Little Pony or all kinds of different things? All kinds of different things, very much. What got you into wanting to focus a little bit on My Little Pony though? Well, back in 2011, uh, my, a couple of friends of mine were like, you need to watch this show. And I was like, no. And they were like, you need to watch the show. We're making you. And I was like, all right. And so I watched the show and I was like, that's pretty tight. And so I, I watched like the entire first season. Like this was like back, like right when the first season ended. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I got a little, so we say, cidered and decided to go to bed. And I woke, I had this dream of me like being super alone and the moon was really present, and so I wrote the first pony song uh, about My Little Pony through the lens of Luna called Millennium Alone, and it got a lot of interest. And since the show was so inspiring for me on a lot of levels, for whatever reason, it doesn't matter, I just kept doing it. And that's why I'm here today, and I just kept doing these con circuits because I'm a f performer at heart, so I just kept performing. and. That's why I'm here today, 2016, Rattlecon. It sounds a lot of fun. Do you do your own music or do you do compilations and covers of other people's music? I do mostly my own music uh, live. I've done a couple of covers. I do a lot of collaborations because I'm a vocalist. And so a lot of people is, are interested in using my vocals for whatever reason. Uh, so that's it's, it's a combination of all of those things. If I perform out, I try to incorporate as little covers as possible because I want to perform my own material. But I'm most known for like a cover of uh, another song in the fandom called Nightmare Night, which I did a symphonic black metal style for that. So that's what I did. A black metal style? Yeah, so like a lot of growling, but also with a chorus. Like um, there's a song by Demi Borgir called Progenies of the Great Apocalypse, which starts with a lot of growling and, and uh, visceral vocals but then goes into a very singy and fluty part. So I took that idea and applied it to Nightmare Night, which has rap sections, which since rap is inherently non-melodic, I took it and made it the screaming and growling sections and then the this choruses were, were singing. Um, I also used, just to shout him out, I guess, I don't know what he does anymore, but Stormwolf Josh Lowe, he did the orchestral part that I used for that track. Do you have any specific instrument that you like the most? bass guitar sounds good now what does my little pony mean to you wow that's a deep question actually my little pony my little pony was weird because i've never had an issue of being true to myself in a way so it didn't give me that aspect but it, it was an interesting release because everything i turned everything i did was so in a way political and that's weird talking about that three days from 2016 election, but like it was everything was so political and that My Little Pony was pure, it was simple, it was inspiration, it was obvious. I didn't have to think about it. Whenever I watched it, it was entering into a new world of interesting inspiration, pastel colors. I actually wrote a song about that feeling too. It's just, it was, it was an escape from my fate as just being another dude. And I thank the fandom and the people who surrounded it from like just gathering around that same idea. Because I feel like we all thought that in some way when we joined watching this show. Because it was just, it was breaking down the BS around the world and just taking down simple concepts and making it real. So, so do you feel that your music has evolved because of it? I definitely do. And not only because of the show, because I used to do really heavy black metal, dark metal stuff. And then with the advent of My Little Pony, I started focusing more on melody and, and other emotions and happiness. But beyond that, it made me think about, you know, feeling other things other than just like, you know, cynic, cynicism and stuff like that, because it was just like so honest in its presentation. Well, do you have any words for anyone out there that is, maybe is afraid to get into My Little Pony or afraid to admit it because of fear of outside factors that might impact their well-being that they are afraid to show it? I mean, for me, I'm not, I mean, I have a Luna shirt on right now, but like that's my presentation. Honestly, it's about where you're comfortable with. Because what I've learned as, as just over the last four years and being an adult and everything else, you don't have to wear everything on your sleeve all the time. You don't, you don't have to do that to be you. If you're hiding too much, that's fair. But so my thing is, if you're, if your family really isn't into it, 
Maybe bring it up once to your immediate family and just be like, this is a thing, but you don't have to shove it in their faces unless that gives you liberation. So it's all about what you feel. If you feel trapped, do what you need to do to not feel trapped. If you don't feel trapped and you feel like you can wait, wear a mask once in a while just to get through, that's just how you have to live life sometimes. So for me, like it's like wear your pony as proudly as you want to. Because I'll tell people, if people ask me, so what are you doing this weekend? So I was in Denver. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to Denver. What are you doing? My little pony convention. And if they ask further, I tell them. But otherwise, it's just like, I'm another guy. I have a lot of interests. My little pony is one of them. It's done a lot for me. But you know, I, I would also ask the same thing of like, you know, other people who've gone through religious experiences, you know, I wouldn't want them pushing it on me. Just chill, be relaxed. And, but if you ever feel trapped, don't be afraid to try to express yourself as much as you can. So you have no problem letting anyone know if they were asked what you were doing, that you were going to a My Little Pony convention. Well, I've always said My Little Pony convention, um, unless I was in a real hurry, because if I'm in a hurry, like if I'm trying to get to a flight, like a connecting flight, it's like, I'm not gonna explain to you what I mean by this. So I'll just say like cartoon convention. But like, if I have a moment, like I'm sitting next to somebody and playing, yeah, My Little Pony convention. And I, like, cause, they're trapped with me for four hours, so I get to like dictate those terms. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So see that, kids? You don't have to be afraid to like what you want to like. Well, thank you so much yeah, for your man. time. Thank you. Until next time, bye.